Hi, I'm going to share a short video um, on how to come into or work towards coming into lotus pose um, if you find you are very tight in the hips and this is not a pose that you enjoy um, but you would be curious to explore ways of moving in the direction of lotus pain-free um, this will take about uh, 10 minutes on each side and I'm going to turn my back to you so you can see what we're doing uh, the first thing is don't do this um, until perhaps the end of your workout or end of a class that you've been make sure your body is warm and we're going to um, I'll show you some hip opening that I do that gets me in a very non-invasive way into lotus pose so lying on your back with your knees bent and if your neck is very arched and your shoulders are coming off the floor, put a firm cushion or book under your head. And you're going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh. And you're just going to bring this left knee in. And be careful this right foot doesn't sickle inward. So you're keeping the ankle and big toe in line with the knee. And you're just going to rock a little bit forward and back, kicking this left knee gently into the chest. easy breathing and a little side to side now you can either hold the back of the thigh interlace the hands behind the thigh or the shin if your shoulders are tensing up rather hold the thigh so you want the shoulders to drop into the floor and make little circles so we're drawing circles with the left knee in space in a range that's easy to breathe and then change directions with the circles so hopefully you're your body's been warm, you've, you've been working out and or in a yoga or Pilates class and you're not coming in from the cold to do this. And after this, you can just bring your arms out to the sides and drop that left foot down. And as this knee falls open, careful that your left hip doesn't hitch up to your left ribs. You want the space between the iliac crests of the hips and the ribs to be more or less equal. And you're just going to gently drop the knees to the left. Use slight abdominal power to bring your knees back, navel to spine, left and right. Both shoulders remain on the floor. So if you want to roll your head the opposite way or the same way, you can play with that as well to check that the neck and the eyes and the jaw is soft. You may want to go slower than this. Feel the pressure of your left foot changing as your knees go to the right and left. Take your time, you can go even half the speed. So you want to check that the shoulders are not reacting or lifting up off the floor. And after this feels like it's a little eased up, you're going to bring it, these whole, this whole construction to the left and hold on to the right shin or slide your hand down to the ankle and bring the foot a little closer up the thigh. And then just drop this knee towards the floor and you'll feel the hip roll. So you're dropping the knee, the foot is flat on the floor, and as you drop it, the outer edge of the foot comes up. Feel what's happening on your left hip as you roll, on your right hip. Feel the space between the right hip and the right ribs compress, tracking towards each other and away from each other. And check that the neck is soft by rolling the head a little side to side. Jaw is soft, eyes are soft. After a while, hopefully, you can find that this leg can stand with ease and you can even brush the fascia tissue from the hip crease out. If it's still not comfortable, play a little bit with dropping and standing this foot, dropping and standing this foot. So if you're very tight in your hips, this might be enough for you and you will change size, but if you wanna go further, this foot is now higher up the thigh and into the crease of the left thigh and you're turning the sole towards your face and then you hug that left knee into the chest. And once again, in and out, in and out, side to side or even little circles, play with what feels good. If this is hurting your right knee, don't move into this part today, but maybe sneak into it another time because when the hip is tight, the knee will take the brunt or the ankle. And once again, you can just roll a little side to side here.
So we're differentiating the hips from the torso, differentiating the head from the torso and the hips. And then you're going to raise the head up into a <laughs> contracted space and get hold of the left ankle or shin and slowly coax it into coming into the half lotus pose behind the right thigh and knee. And you can rock and roll a little side to side. It may be far away. And then you're just going to play with that today. And gradually over time, this foot will come in a little bit. This can take a few weeks before you find comfort here. And you may find you can just slip the foot over into your full lotus, rocking side to side. I find it's much easier to come to full lotus in lying on the back than in sitting because there's less pressure in the hips. I'll show you the other side because that is my challenging hip. You're going to just extend the legs out. And if you're like me, that cuts the, the blood flow slightly. You might get some tingling in the legs and roll the legs in and out, roll the legs in and out. And once again, 